Hi, I'm Lori George with Let's Make Art. Today you're going to be joining us for our Let's Make Art Matter for to go with our, along with our Kansas Wetlands box. And today we're going to be sending some love to Dennis. But first, let me introduce our cameraman, Keenan. Hello. I'm Keenan. Keenan. And we also have a special guest with us today. This is Heidi. And Heidi works here at Let's Make Art, and I've known her for a long time. Since birth. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if you got the Kansas Wetlands box, or if you did our Bullfrog Friend project, this is kind of playing off of that project. We are going to be sending some frog selfies to our friend Dennis. Yes. Okay. So let me show you. Let me show you a little bit about what we're doing, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about Dennis. So here's, so for our bullfrog friend project, we had, an, we had this project here, we had an outline, we kind of kept it simple. But for this one, we're gonna add some pizzazz, some personality, Ooh. some flair, maybe? Yes, I like some flair. Quirkiness, I like flair. Some personality. <laughs> so let me show you just a few. Here's a sketchbook, by the way, that I did of some like different expressions. When we change the mouth, like the eyes, the angles, a bunch of different things, we can change the expression and the mood of our frog and kind of give it a little bit of, you know, spunk. So here's one that has some glasses. Here's one that's, you know, gazing at the stars. <laughs> here's our artist friend, by the way, if you got the um, Kansas Wetlands box, you got a little mini button with a oh, artist friend. Yep. Heidi helped design it, by the way. <laughs> and we have this little guy. Notice how we can do some different colored backgrounds. This one's a winner. I love yep, the, the slightly love wonky. Yeah. yeah. Wonky eyes. We all know someone little. like that that we love. <laughs> that we love. <laughs> Another one. Some of these I can actually add to. I haven't completely finished them. This one. This is my favorite. This one just looks like what you would expect to see in a, in a very good way. I love it. This one's a little like, ooh, 1980s maybe. With some, 80s, yes. <laughs> some of those fun colors. Another one in the stars. So as you can see, like I might come back and add a few little touches to these to make them a little bit different. Give them their own, their own style and personality. A lot of bullfrog friends. Yes, bullfrog friends turned into frog selfies. And so we want to send Dennis just a bunch of frogs. So we hope you'll enjoy, you'll join us in sending him these new friends, right? So let's tell me, let me tell you about Dennis. First, actually, our Let's Make Art Matter program was started with the idea and the intention to send some love out into the world using art as that, as that means. And so that program was started here a while back and I think it's really great that we can use our art to show somebody that we care and that we're thinking of them and that there's people out there that are rooting for them. Dennis, so his daughter um, nominated him for this and he is funny, loving and supportive father who's turning 80 this year. So like, if you wanna make a birthday frog, you could probably, he's turning 80, that's, that's pretty cool. That's great. After serving, he served in the Navy for 23 years and then worked as a truck driver, but then had a hip injury, injury in the late 90s that left him disabled. And since then, he's had a couple of heart attacks and a stroke and was recently diagnosed with, anyway, some other stuff. So he's been dealing with a lot. And his wife and daughter who helped care for him say he really looks forward to getting mail, but rarely really gets the good kind of mail, you know? Mm -hmm. So we want Dennis, we want to fill his mailbox with the good kind of mail, with a ton of friends, happiness, good vibes, all of that. Yeah. Let's send him our love and well wishes. How does that sound? He sounds like a trooper. You know? I think so. I think you're right. I'm excited. Yep. Let's talk about some supplies. So today we're going to be using the Liquitex Professional Heavy Body Acrylic Paint that came in the Wetlands box. We have Natfell Crimson, Titanium White, Yellow Light Hansa, Thalo Green, Ultramarine Blue, and Mars Black. We're also going to be using a variety of brushes. Really, you can use whatever you have for this. This is kind of just like a fun, fun thing to do. Do it however you want. In fact, I think the, the more unique, the better. The yeah. more personality, ah. the better the selfie. Yeah, so I just have a three quarter inch flat wash, a half inch flat wash, and a for details, a round eight. I also have the chip brush that came in the wetlands box. Do a little bit of splattering here a little bit. That's the workhorse. Yep, we also have a scraper tool. Your, yours might look, look a little different, and a bam, bamboo skewer for adding some etching and scratching in. We have our, kind of the star of this box, our Neo Color 2 water soluble wax pastels. Heidi is a fan of them too. Yes, we I like love them. to. Yeah. We may have gone to an art store before and not cleaned them out, but got quite a few colors. Yeah. Several colors. It's one of our favorite things to do. <laughs> 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 I'm telling too much, maybe. You need all the colors. That's well, the message yes. that so, we're trying to share. Yes. 
So if, you gotta have more colors, you know? It's just fun. Yes. If you like to collect art supplies like I do. I like to collect the colors. No, I like to collect the supplies. Likes to do yeah. that. Okay. I don't know anybody else that likes to do that. <laughs> nice. If you have a palette knife, you can go ahead and grab that. Um, I'm also using, my, for a palette today, I'm gonna use my glass palette. Heidi is gonna be using the paper palette. You'll have a, sh some sheets of paper palettes in your box, if you have that. You'll want something for rinsing out your brush. Today I'm using the brush basin that we carry. And then something to dry off your brush. I like to use shop towels. You can use like a paper towel, whatever works for you. If you don't have a scraper tool, you could also use like a, one of these catalyst wedges. Those are kind of fun, try that. And then I like to have chalk for this. You can use a pencil if you want, whatever works, or graphite paper. Well, actually, nope, not graphite paper, because this one's going to be smaller and unique, right? With the bullfrog friend, we did have an outline to trace. We did. Yes. And last but not least, we need some postcard paper. This is the Let's Make Art watercolor postcards. I like to work in multiples, so we're going to be working in multiples today. I think it'll work nicely, and it'll be fun. Shall we get started? Yes, yes. Yes, OK. So we are just going to cover our paper with some different shades of green, kind of blue greens, yellow greens, all different hues of green. So let's go ahead and put some paint on our palette. I'm going to start with some phthalo green. I'm just going to squeeze them out there. Some ultramarine blue. Add a little black in there. OK. And uh, I'll, I'll put here yellow and some white. I'm not going to use red at the moment. That might be later for when we add some. Put that out of the detail. <laughs> yes. Let me move this out of way here. Right. Okay. I already got my paint, so I'm ahead of you. I'm just going to oh. go for it. Okay. Heidi's just going to oh, wow. do her thing. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, Heidi. You don't have to follow what we're doing. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of pre-mix up some paints. Well, actually, no, I don't want to do that. I, we did that in the bullfrog frame, but I just kind of want this to be just going for it. I am going to mix with my brush on here, though. I'm going to mix a few different hues here. here. I've got kind of a bright green with some phthalo and some yellow. Okay, and without cleaning my brush, I'm going to make another color. Make some blue, mixing in what I have on my brush and maybe adding a little bit more yellow. Can you guys all see that? Yes. Yep. Okay, so it's kind of, and just to kind of throw a loop there, we're gonna add a little bit of white. Uh, what I'm trying to do is kind of just get a few colors that are different in value and in hue, temperature, saturation. And then we'll go ahead and grab this. Kind of keep this maybe a nice blue color. You can do whatever you want, honestly, because frogs come in so many different colors. So, Whatever. What's I'm, your favorite color of frog, Heidi? I'm adding, I added a little bit of red to my greens so that they can be kind of earthy, more like mm. muted. I like that. And I'm just kind of mixing a little bit on the palette, a little bit on the paper. Heidi's so. going for it. I like that. I'm going for it. Okay. So I've got about four different um, options here, and I'm going to I'm gonna kind of start with Heidi's new too. I am going to use the scraper tool to kind of move my paint around, but I'm going to dab to start dabbing with this color here mm. okay and see how I'm doing two at once I'm telling you multiples way to work what's the way to do it you know, I'm gonna pop some white on this one there we go what different value there okay and we're gonna work pretty quickly for this because with the scraper tool I want it to still be wet so I can move the paint around all right okay dab that there and then maybe some blues And just for funsies, I'm gonna pop some black in here. Ooh, fun. And put Ooh, that funsies. in just a few select places. <laughs> okay, Party. then take your scraper tool, maybe the long edge of your scraper tool, and just start scraping. I don't wanna overmix, because one cool thing about this project is just all the different colors and textures that you see through your, your painting, okay? I'm gonna kind of scrape that. I like that. And you can kind of draw with your scraper tool, too. Kind of make some lines in there. Ooh, cool idea. Like that. Nice. And then once I get to a certain point, I just want to make sure I cover cover the white. You don't have to cover all the way. I think it's nice for some white to show through on this. 
Look how fun and different your guys' colors are. Yes, I like I like all of the yellow that yeah. Heidi has. How do you can slide? Well, are your tape down? You can slide over if you want yeah, to show. Yeah, I think you can see this one in the yeah. side. Yeah, side cam. So I'm gonna Boom. add. I do love the yellow. I will leave more yellow to mine. I think Ooh, there are some trees that, yellow. that are transparent. So nice. Transparent? I'm pretty sure there are some frogs that are transparent. Hmm. Proven. Okay. okay. The are frogs? there really transparent frogs? I actually I never heard that. I think so. I could see like maybe in their tadpole. Yeah, that's was tadpole stage. Picks or it didn't happen. That came straight from Lori. <laughs> I think I just said picture. Or prove it. I said prove it, Keaton. <laughs> Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. The glass frogs are frogs of the amphibian family Centralinidae, I think. While the general background coloration of most glass frogs is primarily lime green, the abdominal skin of some members of this family is transparent and translucent. Wow. Nice. It's so fascinating. So you don't even have to add any paint if you want to do a yeah, transparent frog. Yeah, you do a background and maybe you're done. Your frog's done. Yeah. Throw a couple eyes in there. <laughs> Maybe another. There thing. we go. <laughs> do that project. I like time. it. Okay, so you do whatever you want. I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna use my scraper tool to add a few little places of like pattern, because that's what I'm feeling today. So add some little dashes on this one, and then one of the nice things about working with multiples is you don't have to do the exact same thing on the other ones. And so this one, I'm just gonna kind of maybe I'll make some little circles or big circles. Okay, just to kind of mix it up and try something new. When you work in multiples, like taking risks feels, feels all right. Yeah. Doesn't feel so scary. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry and we'll be back in a few minutes. Once your paper is a little bit dry, it doesn't have to be completely dry, we're gonna add some splatters. Heidi, have you ever splattered? <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird question. That sounds a little weird. It's I know. See, I already know the answer to the question. It's only my favorite thing. So. <laughs> but do you have splatters all over your art area like I do? Yeah. Because I think my, I might be splattering more than you. In my laptop and my oh, computer dang. screen. Okay, fine. And oh, no. pretty much everything. Nice. <laughs> it's uh, fine. When I was doing the bullfrog friend, I started the splattering. And I was using a different technique thinking, oh, yeah, this is a little more controlled. And it's like, ah! Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I got to go with the thing I know. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay, so looking at my postcards here, lots of green going on, and so I think I'm going to add some blue, some lighter blue uh, splatters on mine. You can add whatever color you well, want, Heidi. That's what I was going to do. Well, I thought of it first, so just kidding. <laughs> Are we going to do this? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <sighs> Heidi and I actually get along very well. She's my younger sister. I feel like you have to remind people of that a lot, though. <laughs> no, we really do get along. No, 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 yeah. We're just like, Contrary we to joke. how it seems. We joke, truly. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this blue. I'm going to add some white. And you know what? I don't, I don't mind adding some of these other colors, getting mixed in. Add a little bit of yellow just so it's not too straight blue. And then the main thing I want to do is I want a lighter value. So I'm going to add some more white. It's just too much fun to watch this. <laughs> Kenan's, are we entertaining you, Kenan? Yes. Great. That's what we're here for. All right, so the trick with splattering is you want to take your chip brush and you want to add enough water that the brush is loaded, but not dripping. So you want to get to the point right before it's dripping, kind of. You got that? So I don't want it to be dripping. I've done that before. It doesn't really work as well. All right. So take your brush and then there's a couple different ways that you can splatter. You can be really gentle about it and you can use a brush. I think that actually though yesterday it kind of made more of a mess. So I just like to go for it and fling it. Use a little bit of wrist action. Fling it. Yeah. Fling it's it. all in the wrist. If it's not coming off, you might need a tiny bit more water. Just like cutting the, hair. The only all thing the, the only thing I don't like about water. splattering is that it doesn't take very long and then you're just done. <laughs> I know. It's, it's over. Like, I'm like, what? I think you need to add another color though. Yes, so. <laughs> I was saying, uh, add a, maybe I'm gonna add some more yellow to mine because I really want the yellow to oh, man, be color, though. kind of a nice, you guys can't see what I'm doing, so let me do it over here. Ooh, I may need, may need more paint because now I'm just using it all for this. Oh, you know, <laughs> that's okay. There are worse problems to have. I agree. I, I think the only wasted paint People worry about wasting paint. I'm like, oh, it's only wasted if you're if it's left in the tube and you're not using it, right? That's so smart. 
I definitely agree with that. <laughs> so you can You can also hold the brush um, horizontally, and and it gives That's you a little bit more of a spread. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice. Okay. So once you get, you know, once you feel like you've got your fill of the splattering, we're gonna never. We're gonna let this completely dry before we move on to the next step. Okay, once your postcards are completely dry, we're ready to move on to the next step. This step is gonna be where we kind of start the shape of our frog, the form of our frog. As you can see here, like you can decide if you want your frog to be angled this a certain way, if you want the frog to take up like three quarters or two thirds of the page, or this one takes up like most of the page. This one's kind of a little googly eyed. He's a special one. Yeah, that one I, wanted to, I was He's trying a lot of personality. Yeah. Makes so me think of Ducky quirky. from uh, Land of Land of Time. Land before time. Oh. Land before time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. So this is where we're just gonna kind of have fun. And if you have chalk, great. If you don't, a pencil or anything that we'll mark on here will be great too. So I'm just gonna decide where I want to put the eyes. Hmm. Well, let's do just something a little bit different here. So make a couple circles for the eyes. And does that show on the side cam, Keenan? It does not. You would have to be directly over Heidi's paper. Okay, we won't do that do then. That. We'll just, yeah, we won't worry about that then. I'm gonna connect the eyes with just a line there. And then coming down from the eyes, you kind of just make like a little triangle on this side and a triangle on that side. Okay, so that kind of gets you the basic shape of the eyes and the head. All right, and then you can decide what does the body want to look like. I like to keep it simple and just kind of draw some lines out to the side. Maybe it's got to, it's, this frog's a little wider. I decided today. There we go. Okay. All frogs are beautiful. <laughs> All frogs are beautiful. <laughs> yes. Let me do another one real fast. Let's do something completely different. Let me. Well, I'm gonna turn it this way. Okay. And I, I. Maybe this one's gonna be mostly just a face. Nice. What about that? I like it. Okay, oh, so just do what you want. If you don't like it, if, the nice thing about chalk is you can just um, wipe it off. That's a selfie for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Heidi actually there. came up with the idea of frog selfie. <laughs> I had the bullfrog friend project ready to go, and we we're thinking about let's make car. She's like, she's like, you should do frog selfies. Because I had done a few different like backgrounds and a few different shapes of frogs and like that. And so we thought, I thought that'd be good time. If you've ever, if you've never taken a selfie, you might not understand. But if you have, you know. If you've never yeah. taken a selfie. Listen, <laughs> I mean, I, I've taken more selfies after starting at Let's Make Art than any other time, probably, because <laughs> I'm trying to get doing the more social media. It just doesn't come naturally for me. All right. So once you've got the basic outline of your frog, we're going to do the negative, do some negative shape painting to just cut in the outline of our frog, the background of our frog. I'm going to. You can do whatever color you want, by the way. So I kind of want to mix it up. I'm thinking, I really like the one that's pink. So I'm going to do pink on one. And then maybe on the other one, I'll do like a neutral color. What do you think, Heidi? Love what it. You, what are you going to do? I don't know. Have you figured that out yet? I think at least one of these, I'm going to do like a very dark bluish, grayish. I like it. Color. I'm going to use my half inch wash on this one just because it's a little bit smaller of a project. Can we see up here? Yes, we can. So I'm going to kind of just add some white, a little bit of red. I like that. I want to go a little more pink, though. And I am going to make it a little bit of a warm pink, just so it kind of plays off of the warm greens we've got going on there. So a tiny bit of yellow will warm that pink right up. There we go. I like that. That's and nice. I think a little lighter might even be OK. You know, I got a little green mix in there, but I don't hate it saturated it just a little bit. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna follow the the outline of the frog that you just drew and cut it in with paint. I will say consider leaving some of your background showing, peeking through, because it'll help tie into the frog and just add a little bit more interest to your piece, perhaps. So I'm kind of just haphazardly brushing a little paint on there. What I want to leave little bits showing through. Also, while it's still, work quickly because while it's still wet, you can one, reshape how you want it, and then you can come in with some of your texture tools, and uh, maybe I'll do, I like the stripes I did on one. You can do some stripes on the wall. You can always add this later too, by the way. Okay, something like that. You could use your scraper tool if you wanted and kind of give kind of like a, a little, 
a little outline. Cool. Kind of to mimic the shape of your frog there. Kind of like that. Ooh, okay. I like that. You like that? Keenan's a fan. Yeah. Keenan is a confidence guy. Confidence yeah. booster Change guy. background. <laughs> this is the you best. like that? This is the best. All right, Keenan, you know what? What color do you want me to make this background? Okay. Any I'm color gonna, you want to do, we'll try it. I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to suggest request uh, a little purple. Oh, not purple. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> Anything but purple. <laughs> Anything but that. No color. matter what next, he said, I was going to say that. Team. I just, yeah, I, I have to give Keenan a little bit of a hard time, you know? I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> make a little bit of purple. I like it. I'm going to do kind of a, a blue leaning purple. Okay. So I'm going to make this blue and I'm going to add a little bit of red. Ooh, well, how about that? Oh, that's you like no. that? Mm -mm. That's a good. That's no. a good purple. Is that a good purple? No, it's not. It's it looks like icing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, I like that. That's kind of nice. Blue you know, violet. You know, purple and green kind of go nice together. Yeah, that's they nice. kind of complement each other. I like the moments where you didn't mix it all the way, and you can see little bits of the other color. Oh, uh, yes. yeah, I did that on purpose. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> And once again, I want to leave. I want to leave little bits of that background showing. I like that. If you don't like that, you can cover it up. But you know, this is about texture and interest, and so I'm gonna go with it. Keenan, once again, I'm gonna let you decide. What would you like for this? Lightning bolts. Really? Yes. Okay. Wow. Can really? I? I'm going, can I abstract <laughs> them? Uh, yeah, absolutely. The answer is gonna be yes. Abstract. Okay. You can kind of see that in the background, not super well, Keenan. You know, I'm sorry to say, but it's okay. it's there, you know. It's there. I can feel it. We can Oops. send this to Dennis. You can find this and send this to Dennis if you want. Yes. And since you don't get to paint with us today, got a little pink on my other okay. frog. Okay. How you doing, there, Heidi? I'm good. Great. All right. Let's go ahead and paint the eyes. Mm. We aren't gonna go straight white. We are gonna do, you know I'm looking for guys, those of you who painted me, me, with me before know that I like to brush extra paint off on a brush board. So I have one that I started previously and I just like to put my extra paint somewhere. This can become an abstract project or it can become an underlayer for a different painting. Just kind of a fun way to use up extra paint. Okay. Are you having fun yet? Are you? I shouldn't ask that. No. <laughs> I think so. All right, so we're going to, I actually right here, this color is going to work really well for my eyes, but we're basically looking for like a, a celery green, like a light yellow green, oh. but we don't want it too kind of desaturated though, right? So you can add some yellow and some blue and some white. You might want a tiny bit of black, but just play around, see what you get. Okay, so I'm going to take this brush. This is Let's see. And I'm just gonna kind of lightly kind of put in some, an eye shape. Now you can kind of go lower down if you want to leave a little bit of eyelid. I think I kind of want to do that. So I'm just gonna kind of add, maybe the top is a little bit flat. Does it make sense? Cause I'm gonna make sure, I'm kind of thinking about the eyelid right now when I'm putting this oh, in. Okay. So I'm gonna leave the eyelid. Okay, looks a little weird right now, but we're gonna have faith that we can fix that or we can keep going, it's gonna look great. All right, so this one, I'm gonna think about the eyelids on this one too. You know, if I have the eyelids going like this, it kind of gives the frog more of a thoughtful, perhaps sad, maybe, perhaps just kind, who knows? Melancholy. Look. Melancholy, that's so funny, I was thinking that word, but I was like, oh, I don't wanna say that. Um, but if you have them going the opposite direction, you could have it look sassy or um, uh, angry sassy or- frog. Yeah, I think Heidi sassy should do frog. one. <laughs> Going which angle? So if they're so like angled ang inward? Um, angry would be the opposite way as this, right? So going like a V, boom, and boom. How do I do sassy? Okay. Hi, do you do sassy? This is great. Very this is very important. <laughs> okay. Let me show you here real quick. Mm. Draw it right here. So uh, you have your eyes, okay? Here's your basic shape. If you do eyelids like that, then you're going to make it look much angrier or sassy. Huh. Okay. Oh, okay. that's, oh yeah. Okay, okay. I'm ready now. All right, you do that? I'm ready that now. Right. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> the next step, go ahead and grab a round brush if you've got one. And we're just gonna kind of put in our black dry brush outline. 
You can do a different color if you want to, though. This is like this is like just free time, you know. This is like do do your thing time. Yeah, it's fun. Make a make Sally the sassy frog. Yes. You know. She's oh, sad. you know what? Yeah, your frog needs a name. Yeah. Let's name these frogs. That'd be okay. kind of fun to send. We could yes. pre-name the frogs and send them to Dennis. That'd be fun just to have him. One see has if... to be named Dennis. We have to figure Ooh, out an honorary. An honorary. An Dennis. It has to be good. Oh, that's pressure. I don't. Hmm. Yeah, that is high, <laughs> uh, high, high stakes, high reward, Heidi. That's I take it back. Right I don't want. Uh, uh, just okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some black onto my brush. I want to lightly outline. I don't want to be a really like harsh, um, thick outline or anything. I just kind of want to get the idea of an outline. So I'm just going to come and, you know, you can take a little liberty here, even if like the paint isn't necessarily there. You can just kind of pretend, kind of, I don't know, like that, get some eyelids. Okay, come in here. What do you think? And then maybe he's got, you know, he got some extra extra stuff there <laughs> okay. there are layers Man, yeah without and his, you can without his mouth he kind of looks like he's looking away yeah he looks important actually i think you can add some little dashes down there to indicate like his legs uh-huh i said arms last time <laughs> i don't know <laughs> who gets to decide by the way yeah who i don't made know the choice yeah I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and move to my second one while I still have this paint and, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna even do looser on this. Okay. This one's gonna have more just kind of straight across. This might be the melancholy one. We'll see. And it's okay, totally okay that you're painting over the chalk and actually I think it helps to kind of make break up the lines so you don't have like a really um, harsh implied line or whatnot. There we, there we go. Okay. And last but not least, we need to do a mouth. Mm. Now, there are different ways that you can do mouths in order to give them different looks. For instance, our, the one that we have on our Bullfrog Friend project, it kind of has a little bit of a curve to it, like a, like a small smile, okay? We also have this guy who's got a little bit of like a W <laughs> oh, shape, so okay? You could do that. And Heidi's favorite is one that has a little bit of a different mouth as well. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. This guy. <laughs> I like that. So you, what you do is just kind of I love it. go up like that. It's almost like a really, really wide W. You know what I'm saying? So like up and then maybe I'll do this one, show this one, demo okay. that so yes. that people can see. Okay. okay. Yes. Do whatever you want. You can also do a little bit like of a triangle. I think I have one in here that's more of like a triangle mouth. Yeah, this one. And you just kind of find a point, a one that comes to a tiny bit of a, not a super that sharp, doesn't have to be a sharp point, all right? Okay, all right, so decide what you want your frog's mouth to say. <laughs> <laughs> Keenan, thanks for the delayed laugh. I like, no, I like, I like it because you laugh. laughed at it and then you said just kidding. That was my favorite part, I think, actually. You made the joke. Thing. I'm in a great mood today. I don't know. It's, like a, it's, a nice it's, it's me. It is. It's Heidi. Heidi. <laughs> it's all Heidi. All of it. All right. So one thing, you know what? Feel free to like draw in chalk first. That's what I'm going to do. Because I want to kind of, the line, this is, this little point here is technically like where the top of the mouth is kind of connecting with the, the bottom part of the mouth. I don't know the technical terms, but let's uh, just roll with it. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of just see how I want to do it. <laughs> that one he looks really kind of a little annoyed, a lot annoyed. He's a little persnickety. Yeah, His a little persnickety. Is persnickety. Okay, here we Wilson. go. But maybe he's just misunderstood, guys. Come on, let's give him a break. We don't know what he's been through. He's particular. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna, I like, kind of like that. So I'm gonna kind of follow that and do kind of a mouth like that. Paint You can do whatever you want. And I think it's fun. Do a bunch. Make like 10, shoot. Take a picture, share it with us. I will comment on your, if you tag me, I will comment. Okay. All right, and this one, we'll just keep this one simple. He's just. This is a calm little frog. Actually, I'm kind of doing a little bit of a wavy line. If you end the line kind of <laughs> upwards, I think that gives a little bit of a happier look, right? Kind of like a smirk. Yeah, or a, just a gentle, hey, I'm your friend. 
Kind of look, kind of. Did it crooked? You look a little crooked. Hi, let's see what you do. Oh, I like that. That's really cute. A little crooked. <laughs> we want to embrace all of that here. Right? That's Some kind of the fun of this project. This table. You know, I was thinking that too. Okay. So, oh, yes. Actually, while we have the black, let's go ahead and come in and put in the, the black part of the eyes, the pupils. Once again, there's some different shapes you can do. So you can do round like this, kind of centered. You can, you can actually have the eye, the, the people, the black part of the eye kind of coming off of the edge. Because actually, if you look at pictures of frogs, a lot of times, especially if it's like straight on, you actually don't see the end of the eye, the outer edge of the eye, because it's kind of wrapped around. Hmm. Um, so you decide. Also, we have something like this where you can do a little bit of a Oops, sorry. kind of a um, like a line with a, a circle with kind of a lines that kind of coming tapering off to the side on both sides. Like it's kind of like a diamond or football shape, like that one. This one actually shows it a little bit more. So play around, see what you like. Okay. And the nice thing about acrylic paint, as always, is that if you don't like it, let it dry and then paint over it. Or if you're fast, you can wipe it off. That's a pro tip. Pro tip. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take some black again with my round brush. You got a round brush, Heidi? No, but I'm doing I'm great. I'm sorry, okay. I'm just using the side of my flat brush. Nice. Working. Mm. Okay, Heidi's got some skills she can yep. work out there. All right, so I think, you know, I think with this one, I'm gonna do just a nice little, and I'm gonna angle them also kind of similar to my eyelids. Just kind of a nice, happy frog. And I don't, I don't wanna necessarily have an all completely filled in shape. I kind of like having it be on that, that, that painterly style. What do you think? Oh, you could do like that? You could do an eye patch over one of them. <laughs> Absolutely. Like that a would pirate be so frog? so cool. Kanan, we're going to follow up. A pirate frog, know. or I guess it could be someone who had eye surgery. Yes. Actually, one of our other sisters had eye surgery once, and we, we kind of laid it on with the pirate jokes. Nice. It was, it was, it was nice. My dad has <laughs> one functioning eye. And yeah. He, uh huh. They didn't know till he was like seven or eight, though. Oh my gosh. He would be in grade school, and he actually had a deaf teacher that noticed because she had a disability as well, and would notice different things that other people wouldn't. Interesting. And so every time he would test, he would cover up his left eye so he could oh. read the papers properly. Wow. I know. Well, I'm glad that she was able to notice that. I know. Get him some help. Yeah. That's crazy. So this one, I decided I'm gonna have the eyes kind of like I, I said, like coming that. off of the edge. I'm gonna do that with so this yeah, one. So yeah, play around. Once again, that's one of the nice things about nice things about working with multiples that you can kind of like try some different things out and don't feel so pressured to make one thing excellent. And one could be your redemption page. Yeah. You're like, ooh, that eye didn't turn out the shape I thought it would. Next eye. Well, if it didn't turn out, then it's just not done. Oh, there you go. Acrylic, true. you can just paint over it. Yeah, that is really nice. Okay, for the next step, we're going to give our frogs a little bit more like shape and form. I like the colors going on here. They're not too harsh, but I want to add maybe some, where's my half inch brush here? There it is. I want to add a little bit of yellow green because that's a color that I like, or this is a time too, if you want to make your frog a little more blue or a little more gray or transparent. Translucent. <laughs> Translucent. And paint. Okay, you could do that. All right, so I'm going to, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna flip my palette around so you can still see what I'm doing. Oh, thanks. There we go. I love having lots of palette space. Okay, so I'm gonna take some yellow and I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna take a tiny bit of black, okay? Yellow and black can make a nice earthy green. And then you can kind of play with them. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow. There we go. So I'm gonna take not a ton. Of, I don't want a fully loaded brush, but I do want some paint on there. And I'm going to start kind of forming my frog. So on this one, maybe I feel like the light is coming from this side. And so I'm going to have, to have some highlights going on here. Actually, if you look at pictures of some frogs, a lot of times they have the lighter part is this, like the chin part. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, I looked at a lot of pictures of frogs when I was creating these projects. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just kind of like dabbing this on in a few places. and. It's acting kind of as a transparent paint because this yellow is fairly yellow. transparent, which is nice. Okay, so I just kind of lightly added that on there. And I'm, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Go ahead and go over to my next frog and maybe this frog's gonna be a little, little, little different. So let's make this a little more blue. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some white just to lighten it up. You know what, Keenan, I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna do even more blue because you had asked for purple and I 
I'm gonna go with that a little bit. Nice. Now I already have some paint on my brush to kind of mix that in. There we go. And you know what, maybe we'll add a tiny bit of red to that. Ooh. A little bit of a purple. Okay. So I'm, I'm still, like you can even kind of brush them off. I still want to be somewhat light, a light touch, because I don't want to cover up all the background goodness that we created. But I just kind of want to give him a little bit of color. You know? Okay. Mm. Get, pick a few spots. What do you think? He looks we got great. some more stuff to do, but I like it. I'm actually going to push this fur further with purple. I'm going to make a... These would be really yeah. cute phone cases. Mm -hmm. Nice. We'll kind of, we'll, I'll do a little bit of purple on the shadow side. Okay. So I'm, I'm thinking the side would be a little more in shadow. And maybe if this is his leg or arm, however you want to think about it, there might be a little bit of shadow there. Okay, maybe under his chin a little bit. Wherever you want, honestly. What do you think? You liking that, Keenan? That is so good. I don't think Keenan would say he didn't, by the way, but. Listen, he That's looks like true. he's been through some mud and it was colorful mud. And he's got some nice, he's got friendly eyes. He's, he's lived, <laughs> he's done some stuff. I, I kind of want to touch, touch a little like Ooh, mauve type color maybe. That's good. Rub that in. Mauve. Yeah. Let's just go with it. And I did, just added a little too much paint, so I'm using a scraper to scrape some of it off. And then Nice. Definitely been there. Cool. What do you think? Coming along. But see, like, I get, I get a chance to make them a little bit different. So once you've kind of added a little bit of color to them, you can actually add, we, I started to do a little bit of shadow, but I'm gonna push that a little further with like a neutral color. So I'm gonna take some opposite colors. Let's do red and green. So I'll take some green and some red. Let's see if I can get like a little bit of a neutral color. Maybe I'll pop in some yellow there. Yeah, so here, see how we have a brown hue. Okay, so I'm gonna use this very lightly as a shadow. So I'm gonna wipe most of it off. So we do like a dry brush technique. All right, so I just kind of push that in there. Hmm, where do I want that to be? Over there. Okay. Just a few little spots, give him some interest. Okay, you know, he could have some, he could have some freckles going on too. Mm -hmm. He could have some spots. Let's give this guy some spots. I don't want them to be too geometric though. Yeah. I feel like this is kind of like my experimentation frog here. I just mm -hmm. want to like see what things look like. Okay, do whatever you'd like. On this one, I'll add a little bit more shadow. I'll kind of use this neutral color that I've created. I might add a tiny bit more, make it a tiny bit lighter though. There we go. And just give him a few little touches. On this side maybe. What do you think? Oh, that looks cool. I feel like this side would be kind of in shadow too. <laughs> okay. My frog, my uh, this frog is looking a little goofy. I love it. <laughs> I love a it. Goofy grin. I feel like Heidi has a, like a nice illustrative style too. So like mm -hmm. that, that that makes me think of your top frog. Heidi makes me think of a character in Star Wars. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, I so of the Monsters Inc. The um, she's like the secretary. What's her name? Oh, nice. Mike Wazowski. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Edna. Edna? Is it Edna? That sounds No, Edna is in Mr. Incredibles. Okay, my bad. I don't know. I don't know her name. Could She's... you find out for us? Okay. This is really <laughs> You know what? I got you. All right, so <laughs> we've gotten to the stage. Our frog has a face, it has some eyes. We're going to add some catch lights, and then we're going to add just some final touches where you kind of just make him or her or it, whatever it wants to be. <laughs> so get some white, and, you know, depending on where you put the catch lights mm -hmm. can also show some personality. So I'll do two different ways. All right, pick up some white on my round brush. And I'm just gonna kinda do a couple little dots, okay? Her name is Roz. Roz. Okay, So I did Thank a couple you. little dots there. And on this one, I'm gonna kind of do, maybe I'll do down here. It looks like it's crying. This is starting to be sad. Mm, what happened? <laughs> sad frog. <laughs> okay. I feel like this is like the emotional support frog. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> he 
like cares. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so now we can get to the stage where we're going to do some finishing touches. I'm looking at this one. I like this. I like the contrast in this one, the pink and the green. This one, I think I want to push the background a little bit lighter just to have a little bit more contrast between my frog and the background. So I'm going to use this white highlight I have here, and I'm going to add some, some blue and a touch of red. The emotional support frog I like. <laughs> You know. I also think he looks a little concerned. Like, why do you keep eating that cheese? You know it's going to hurt your belly. <laughs> you know, that's what I think of. He's thinking. That's what he's thinking. Kenan, did that come Are from personal experience? Kenan, I don't know. That. Sometimes I <laughs> see this emotional sport frog in my life. Okay. And I decide to eat cheese anyway. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. That's a problem for you. <laughs> is, it, is it worth it? I'm going to kind of take my background color and just Ooh. add a few little touches in here. Oh, so maybe we'll add a few little, like, kind of make some little dots. Debbie dots. Yeah, why not? This is kind of my, yeah. Cool frog. Okay. And do we want anything on this guy? I kind of, you know, I kind of like this guy the way he is. Other than he's cute. I'll need to wipe off the chalk here in a second when it dries. You can do that at the very end, by the way, once you're completely done. You can, actually, before you do Neo Colors, which we're going to add next. Yeah. Wipe off your chalk because Neo colors, if you wipe them, they can be wiped off as well. So they're not oh. permanent. You'll need to fix those with some fixative. I talk about that in part six of our acrylic beginner series. If you want some tips on how to fix loose media like Neo colors, chalk pastels, color pencils, all that stuff. And when you say fix, you mean make permanent, not correct. Not yeah. So fixative is a product that helps to make the loose media permanent on your page so it doesn't lift up again or reconstitute like it like some of them could and so that helps it's different than varnish though varnish just seals okay so i'm going to go ahead and grab my neo colors i'm going to use the yellow that we have from the um this is the canary yellow and i'm just going to kind of add some yellow around his eye there add a little bit of you know color sparkle and then I'm going to kind of keep going with this on my highlight side. Add some highlights there. And then I'll use this green and kind of kind of think of it as a more of a shadowy color. Kind of put it in the shadows. There we go. And maybe I can like dial in the pupils too and maybe a little bit on the eyelids. Do whatever you want, right? And if you have other neo colors, you can do even more. I think I'm going to kind of play around the neo colors with this guy. I'm going to grab maybe some blue. Okay. I'm going to kind of... He needs a little bit more vibrancy. Oh, yes. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to kind of do that. Wait, did you already... You already wiped off your chalk, though, right? Oh, thank you. No, I did not. Very <gasps> nice. Good catch. I put my splatter brush on my paper towel. Let's see if I can make this work. Yeah. There we go. Good call, Heidi. I do like using chalk for kind of sketching out some ideas and then it's easy to change it if you want to adjust before you really commit, right? This one doesn't have as much chalk kind of showing. Okay. Let's keep going with this guy. I just want to kind of add this, add some little outlines for him. And maybe I'll do, let me add another light value. How about some of this green color? This is one of my favorite neo colors, actually. It's, really, Me it's getting kind of small. I have multiples of that Really? One. Oh, I, I think I remember because you like bought it twice on accident because you're like, I love this. Oh, wait, yep. I already have this. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. That's funny. If you don't like it, like I, I'm like, maybe I went too far. I can wipe it off before I... Yeah. Because it's, it's not permanently fixed yet. So there, I'm going to keep it kind of simple. You can also scratch through the neo color, kind of mix that up a tiny bit. What else does this one need, Keenan? What do you think? This is kind of your frog in a way. <laughs> well, he's got lightning bolts supporting his- Oh, you know, I could emphasize system. those a tiny bit. You want me to do that? Yes, okay. yes I do. Okay, let's see. Neo colors are crazy. Good. They're fun. I mean, we don't want to make this tutorial like 10 hours, but yeah, they, it could be because <laughs> I'd like one little more touch of this other blue. I feel like this is kind of 
And that goes blue with that. made that purple look so cool. Yeah. Okay, so I'm liking this guy. I'm liking this one too. I actually just kinda wanna leave that one simple. So I like that the way it is. How are you doing over there, Heidi? I'm good. You're good? Cute. Oh my goodness, show them your kind of grumpy frog. Love it. I love that. <laughs> so cute. So cute. All right, so look at your frog, see if you want to add anything else. I might add a tiny bit more to his outline, but otherwise I think it's good. I think it's great. And I'm so excited to send these to Dennis and I'm sure they'll share, report back so we can see what frogs uh, Dennis has received in the mail, all of his new friends he's about to get. If you do our Let's Make Art Matter um, postcards and you want to share it with us, please do. I'd love to see it. And you can share either in our Facebook group at Let's Make Art Acrylic or on Instagram at Let's Go Make Art. And Dennis, we're sending you some friends.